Do you want to get job in Europe? I know a lot of people are applying for job in countries like France, Switzerland, Germany, Italy and they are not hearing back from the employer. There is lot of reasons behind that. First reason obviously is that your CV and your cover letter is not in European format. If it is not in European format, you will never hear back from the employer. Second reason is that there is too much competition in those countries. The job market is very competitive. A lot of people are applying for job in those countries, especially the skilled people. So for somebody who is low skilled or semi skilled, it is very difficult to get job in countries like France, UK or Switzerland. What should they do? I would suggest that apply to a country like Lithuania. Lithuania is not rich country like UK or France, but the visa approval rate for this country is very high and at the end of the day it is still a European country. Now let me tell you little bit about Lithuania. So Lithuania is bordered by Latvia, Belarus, Poland and Russia. So there is shortage of worker currently in Lithuania. There are two reasons behind that. First is declining population. So Lithuania population is on continuous decline. And the second reason why there is shortage of worker is that the population of the country is aging. So a lot of old people in the country. That is why there are a lot of Indians, Pakistani and Bangladeshi getting visa for this country so that they can do a lot of semi skilled and low skilled work. Another thing about Lithuania that you should know is that since it is not a rich country like France or Germany, the salary in this country is not that high. But even then I will say that if you are an Indian or Pakistani, you will save much more money than you are making in India or Pakistan. So in this video, I will talk about benefits of working in Lithuania. I will talk about how you can find jobs in Lithuania. I will talk about in demand jobs in Lithuania that can get you job. And I will show you live how you can find jobs in Lithuania. Other than this, I will talk about the visa process the documents, the cost and the timeline. Now let's talk about the benefits of working in Lithuania. So first benefit obviously is that it is still a European country. If you get access to Lithuania, you can get access to other countries in Europe because it is a Schengen country. So if you have Lithuania visa, you can travel to France, Switzerland, Germany or any country in the Schengen area. This is the list of the countries in Schengen area. You can travel to all of these countries. Another reason why you should be moving to Lithuania is that it is not an expensive country. The food and transportation cost is similar to how we have in India. The accommodation cost is also similar. You can get accommodation in Lithuania in 200 to 250 euros. You can get your food and travel cost done in less than 200 euros. So in 400 to 450 euros, you can have your monthly budget. Let us say that if you are earning 1600 euros and you are spending 400 euros on monthly expenses, then you are saving 1200 euros. You will be paying some taxes on that. Eventually you will end up saving 900 euros or 1000 euros, which is still not a bad sum of money. I am saying 1600 euros considering you to be semi skilled or low skilled employee. You can still earn more than 2000 euros if you have skills. You can earn even 3000 euros if you have skills. Another benefit of moving to Lithuania is that you will get international experience. You will get international exposure and later on in your life, if you want to move to some other country, you will be able to do that. Another benefit is that if you are working in Lithuania on resident permit for five years, you are eligible to apply for permanent residency. Another good thing is that you can come to Lithuania along with your family. So you can apply for your family visa as well as your visa at the same time. Other than this, you do not need to take any IELTS exam, any English language test exam. Other than this, another good thing is that if you are a skilled employee, then the government of Lithuania will pay you 3000 euros as a relocation benefit. Now let's talk about the most important part, how to find jobs in Lithuania. But before I start talking about how to find jobs in Lithuania, please subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing more videos in future that will be very helpful to you. So please subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to bring more videos for you. So there are three ways to find jobs in Lithuania. First is through website. I'll show you live example of how you can find jobs in Lithuania through websites. Second is through recruitment agencies. 
I'll give you the list of the names of recruitment agencies that you can reach out to find jobs in Lithuania at the end of this video. And third method through which you can find job in Lithuania and people have not been using the third method is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very effective tool if you want to get job in European countries. Now let me take you to a website and show you that find how you can find job in Lithuania. So this website that you see uzt.com LT is the website from the government of Lithuania. So they have highlighted three different categories of jobs and these are the jobs that are in demand. These are the jobs that there is shortage of worker. So if you have any of these skills, your possibility of getting job in Lithuania is very high. The first category that they have mentioned is a specialist. So this is somebody who has got good educational background let's say in marketing professionals teachers doctors nursing professionals developers system administrators engineers so these are the educated people that they are talking about the skilled people the blue collar jobs the second list of categories is skilled worker and service sector workers so the drivers let me tell you something about taxi drivers in lithuania so if you are taxi drivers you can earn salary at least 3000 euros it is not that difficult if you are taxi driver consider going to lithuania if you are taxi driver tailors builders concrete placers concrete finishers these are also just some jobs that are in high demand and there is good salary for these jobs as well now let's talk about the unskilled workers so these are the jobs that does not pay as much as the above two jobs so these are the jobs in the hotels industry, uh, engineering construction worker, low skilled, uh, packers, shelf stackers, uh, levelers, unskilled forestry workers, kitchen helpers, cleaners. Now this website also guides you on how you can apply for jobs in Lithuania. So they have given you a list of different websites, all genuine because this is a government website that you can go on these websites and you can find jobs in Lithuania. So what you will do is that you will come here on this website cvonline.lt you will select the area of work so as I have shown you that uh, this has different uh, sectors so you will select your own sector if it is purchasing supply if it is logistics if it is in construction sector advertising marketing uh, I have selected tourism and hotel sector I will show you result in this sector so as you can see that there are a lot of job openings for low skilled and semi skilled worker and therefore the salary is not that much 1600 to 2000 euros for cook again it is not that bad salary considering the living expense is not that much you will scroll down and you will check uh, bartender job is there a kitchen assistant job is there now let me go back and show you some other sector so you can see that lot of these job openings were done just recently 11 minutes ago one hour ago one hour ago so these are some of the skilled jobs senior accountant they are paying over 3600 euros again lot of money you will save a lot of money so you can see senior sales representative uh, process coordinator it engineer on site so there is lot of jobs I want you to check this website cv.lt this is a very effective website if you want to get job so these are different sectors over here these are different types of jobs over here so let's say if you want to get job in warehousing so you'll type warehousing over here you will search over here now this will give you the list of the jobs you can see that there is job warehouse worker which was listed just three days ago and they are paying you in the range of 1300 to 1840 which is the average salary for semi skilled worker a storekeeper they are paying you 1500 euros which was listed four days ago let's say if you want to apply to this job you can read the nature of work you scroll down you check this email id you can write this subject line and then you can send your cv and your cover letter in european format to this email id and as well as what you need to do is that send attached CV you should be clicking over here as well 
Another thing that you should note is that if your CV and your cover letter is not in the correct format, the software screening technology that these hiring manager use will reject your CV. So not only you need to have your CV and cover letter in the correct format, you also need to include the words that they have given in the description of this job. So whichever job that you are applying to, come to their description section, for example, the nature of the work. So read the nature of the work and read the requirement. These nature of the work, these requirements, some of the keywords you should be using in your CV. So if you are not sure how to make a nice CV, you can reach out to me. You have my Instagram. So reach out to me on my Instagram or email me. I will help you with CV and cover letter for a very nominal price. Now let me show you another job, truck driver job. So let's click on this. They are paying you up to 13.99 euro. So these are the offers from them. So if you want to get this job, you can email on this email ID with this subject line forklift driver. And then you can also click on send attached CV. So for all the jobs, you will find the same type of criteria. They have given you the email ID. You can reach directly to the person directly to the hiring manager. So you should be thinking about that, that you should not be spending a lot of money on the agents and consultant. I've seen people giving lakhs of money to the agent and consultant and eventually they do the same thing. They reach out to these hiring managers. Why can't you reach out to the hiring manager yourself? You should be doing that. And this is how you do it. Now, having talked about how you can apply to these jobs on your own without the help of agent or consultant. Now, let me show you with the recruitment agencies that you can reach out to if you want to get job. So these are the list of the recruitment agencies that you can reach out and they will help you in finding job if you are not able to find job on your own. Now, let's talk about the visa process. As I've already said that Lithuania has shortage of worker. The government is trying to attract more workers from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So the visa process has become very smooth now. So you do not need to directly go to the embassy. You can apply for the visa application. After that, you need to submit your documents to the VFS. VFS is a third party that take care of the document. It has offices across India. It has offices across the world. So if you are in India, it has offices in multiple cities in India, Kolkata, Delhi, Mumbai, and several other cities. So you can go to the VFS office along with the documents. You can submit your documents to the VFS office. The VFS office will transfer the documents to the embassy. So what documents you will need? Now let's talk about what documents you will need to submit to the VFS. You will need to submit your passport. You will need to submit your offer letter from your employer. You will need to submit your travel itinerary related documents like your hotel reservation, your flight ticket. If you are a skilled employee or if you are an experienced worker, you need to submit your previous employer related documents. You will need to submit your educational related documents. You will need to submit your proof of fund like your bank statement and finally you can submit all these documents to the VFS and in one month you can hear back from VFS. If you want to fast track your application you can apply on an urgent basis as well. So if you want to apply for this visa the cost is 160 euros. If you want to apply on an urgent basis the cost is 320 euros and you can get your visa in just 14 days. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.